Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kipadger.com, out here for a first look at some new stuff we just got in from Dead Air, as well as Unity Tactical and Echo Arms. We will go ahead and start with Dead Air, because genuinely curious what is in here. Have a pretty good idea, but not totally sure. So, let's see what we get. We got this, which I think is their yeah, Sierra 5. This is a pretty cool little setup right here. There's another box in here, which we'll find out in a second. But the fact they put this in like an ammo crate, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool as far as packaging goes. A little ammo crate and their CR5 chemo. So inside here, I've been trying to get a hold of one of these for a while actually, in part because of one of the guns I have, which is the Blackout Defense. They're, dang, sweet. That Blackout Defense gun is, it's pretty cool. I actually competed with it in tactical games and I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these cans, twofold, one pinned and welded with basically a chemo mount, one by Blackout Defense. But the other part is they actually kind of had some, kind of had a hand in some of the testing, like R&D for the Sierra 5. So kind of built for each other. So I'm gonna end up putting this on that in a minute. Got a cold start behind me, one of the Runation cold start targets. But before we do that, we got some other cool stuff from both Uni Tactical as well as Echo Arms. I think we'll jump into Echo Arms next. If you're unfamiliar with Echo Arms, they do some kind of cool stuff, one of which was this, which caught my eye. It is their twin body, 18350 CR123. So what is it? It's basically a light body that will interface directly with Imlock handguard. And on here you have a 18, 18, 350, and then CR123. So what will that do for us? Well, on the 18350 side, just this side, drop that guy in there. And then I can take any 18350 light head. This one right here, I think it's called the Balder, Balder rather, uh, Norse mythology Balder from Valhalla Tactical. And that will screw on right there. And then we have the CR123 side. So I should probably put a battery in there. Get a fresh battery for this. Surefire. Ooh, pick those up later. So goes in on that side. And then again, any CR123 battery. So, or lighthead rather. I could put this by Surefire, but I think probably one of the coolest like aspects of this thing is for running dual spectrum. So So with that right here is the Kiji Lighthead by B.E. Myers. This is the, I think, 1040, something like that. Beam divergence, but man, there's some space back there. All right, so you can put any type of Surefire or other similar patterned tail cap on there. I happen to have a couple Surefire ones, so I'll put this guy over on this side. It's going to be my white light. All right, now I have it set up, dual body, so I have 
18, spacing on 18350 on the one side, and then I have CR123 on the other side. So now I have in one place two lights. Again, two different spectrums. And not really time or place for either spectrum, but I have it on there. So well, I'm probably not going to use it in a second when I shoot this gold start. I will go ahead and throw it on my gun. This guy right here by Blackout Defense. And you can, of course, put any tail caps you want on here. Right now, I just have these two push button clicky ones by Surefire. So I'll probably throw it right up front and use some fix it sticks. <laughs> All right, that's on there. Hopefully it will not end up interfering with my can when I put that on. Find out in a minute. But now we'll get over to Unity Tactical. Unity Tactical has came up with a lot of pretty cool, just kind of unique products, all more or less centric to firearms and tactical gear. But yeah, just some different unique stuff, whether it's their optic mounts or their Atom slide. And then here is this, which is their clutch. Basically, think of it as a like low pro cummerbund, essentially, that you can stow gear in. So get this thing opened up and set up for myself, at least initially, and we'll go from there. You can also get with the clutch their insert accessory kit, which is basically different sized elastic pieces with Velcro backing. So inside of this, there's a bunch of different cells with Velcro and you can basically set it up a number of different, well, configurable however you want to set it up with your gear. So I'm going to pull out some of these and then I also if I need one, I'll try it. I also have this Spirit of Systems one. They're single 556 insert, so kind of play with this or play around with this for a second and get some inserts in here. All right, the thing is, it's pretty cool. So on the inside, well, actually, we'll zoom in so you get a better look. So on the, I guess, front of it, you have this overlapping Velcro. So basically one piece kind of folds in and then gets covered by the other piece. And then you have some elasticity to it. And you can also adjust it back here for essentially kind of size it to you. And then on the inside, I'm not sure, feels, feels kind of like Hypalon. Basically this material in here, it's also laser cut, probably like PAL spacing. And then you have a number of these different cells and some of them, like this guy right here, you can actually undo the Velcro. There's a strip along the bottom in addition to being backed right here. So this strip here can open that if you have something that needs to actually push all the way through. And I was curious, so I ended up putting one of the elastic pieces from their accessory kit in this first cell here. And then this other cell, since it opens at the bottom, I ended up putting a Spirit of Systems, the single 556 piece in there. So they will be able to go on there. For this, oh yeah, also in here too, is some adhesive backed pieces of, I guess it'd be male Velcro. And so those you can actually put onto a Kydex holster and throw it in here as well. So you can have your holster and everything in there too. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up to shoot this cold start in a second with a couple AR mags and yeah, shoot with this rifle and this new suppressor. This being made for low profile, Again, keep everything on you, close to your body, cover jacket, something like that. 
somewhere where I think it's probably actually pretty handy is all layered up up here where maybe you don't have access to the actual pant belt because right here we're in insulated pants over that. And actually, even though I set this up for a right-handed shooter, I'm going to put it on wrong. Well, I don't know that you could actually put it on wrong, pretty much however you want to do it. But I'm going to put it up to shoot other strong side for this cold start just for fun. So I'll get this thing put on, throw some mags in. Probably won't be doing any tack reloads in this thing with a quickness. Definitely depending, I will say the Spiritus one, definitely easier to insert than the other one that's just kind of an elastic band. But I have my two reloads there, so get this gun set up. Definitely needed these tools for a second. Which were in the bottom of the box. All right, let's do this thing. All right. Got my magazine of eight. Second magazine of eight, full mag. And yeah, do this live, see how it goes. No. I don't know if I passed, but on the upside, this thing was quite enough to not register past, I don't know, second or third shot. So, I've checked timestamp on my video. Would have been close, not sure. So, my first round was there, another three rounds, second round in the low probability, other three rounds conducted my reload, quick and smooth from this clutch, dropped around, three more rounds, dropped around, three more rounds, conducted that last reload, and then there, and then living on the edge with a wine burner. <sighs> Dang it, not sure if I passed, but this thing, this thing shoots really nice suppressed. Even the other can I was, had on here shot real nice suppressed also. Is there any back pressure gas? Yeah, I'm sure there is. Throwing the rounds forward a little bit from where it usually throws them forward, but again, you basically compromise. You either have a gas tuned to shoot unsuppressed, which this largely is, or you have a, because if you don't, then you run into reliability issues if you don't have a can, or you have a gun or a gun that was tuned to shoot suppressed, which I guess is where you run into the reliability issues shooting unsuppressed, as it was. But I will say you can't really get away from gas in the face shooting other strong side left-handed. So it is what it is. Definitely ate a little bit of gas. Going to go ahead and switch back over to the dominant hand and do a little bit of shooting with this. Probably throw up some steel and yeah, work some reloads out of the clutch. All right, about 35 yards away, reduced BC zone, set back up to shoot right-handed. One of these days, I will actually set my sling up right-handed, but let's do it.
This thing shoots really nice. sucks when you run out of ammo. No more range day because no more bullets. But what do I think about all this stuff? Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. This clutch, probably not for everyone. Like designed use case, probably fairly narrow, but I'm sure there's quite a few people that can make use of it. I'm probably going to use this upcoming competition because not sure what I'm going to be wearing. Maybe a tracksuit, which doesn't really have provision for belts. So I need to carry a pistol. So I'll end up figuring out a holster and a gun. Get that going over here for me. Kind of sort out where I want stuff in these different cells. And yeah, I think it's pretty cool. The This twin body, again, the way it's set up for me right here, two different spectrums. And you're like, why not? Like, what about a laser, blah, blah? Yeah, maybe. So a couple things. One, most illuminators on lasers, like outside of the mall, totally inferior to Kiji. So even if you're running an IR laser with an illuminator, probably still better off with a Kiji. But having both these spectrums means that I can either turn this up or down, depending on going white light or going IR and shooting passive. So can do all the things with this gun. And this can, it's pretty cool. I, I like that more people are getting into making like dedicated 5.56 cans, because I think there are probably not enough of them out there. So yeah, as I put in more time with all this stuff, bring you guys full review, but fun time out here at the range. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadge.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Missionary. You gotta see it, do believe.